Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Ekel, uh, Benaya, and Kevin Murphy here tonight uh, at Frontier Softball Field. We have Frontier versus Taconic. And Frontier, they're 4-3 and three on the season. Uh, Taconic, it's 4-1. and one. So it's going to be a good game today. Um, and, yeah. So, we'll be underway shortly. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Kekel, Kevin Murphy, and Benai. Uh Taconic, we'll quickly run through the lineup. Uh, batting first and pitching is Riley Parado, or Peranto. Uh, batting second, playing left field, is Julia Pierce. Uh, batting third, playing center field, is Ella uh, Stoden. Catching and batting fourth is uh, Lena Sketten. Uh, batting fifth, playing shortstop, is Che uh, Goddard. Uh, batting sixth, playing third base, is uh, Maddie Harrington. Batting seventh, playing first base, Nina. Um, batting eighth, uh, Isabel Hadsell, right field. And batting ninth is uh, Brennan McNeese. And the first Sings. pitch will be a foul off, Tom, yeah. uh, for a strike. All right. Yeah, and batting is uh, Riley uh, Peranto. She's pitching. I was in there for a ball. So counts one and one now. Liv Michon's pitching for the Red Hawks. Pitch is going to be high and outside, so two and one count. Good hitters count here. And that'll be high for ball three. So three and one. Yeah, if uh, it's not close, I don't see her swinging. Yeah. Comes the pitch. That'll be in the dirt for ball four. So Riley Peranto will get on base with a walk. And that will bring up uh, Julia Pierce, the left fielder for Taconic. Liv Machan to deliver. That one will be in the dirt. Runner holds up. Counts 1 0. Oh. Machan to deliver. There goes the steal. And she'll be safe, ex safe at second. Counts one and one. Shot to pitch, and that'll be a foul ball. One and two count now. Deliver. Foul ball out of play. Still 1 2 count. Run around second. Strike three and she beat out the throw. So drop third strike and that'll put run on, on first and third. That's the first uh, drop third strike that we actually seen for that's been run out this year. Yep. Oh, she's got him. I got a nice tag over at third. So that, that's going to make a uh, one out, runner on second. That's going to be high for ball two, or by one, excuse me. One and one now. Michonne to deliver. 
and that will be uh, in the dirt and it's by Fife Field so two and one count now runner on third now too yeah Comes the pitch, grounder over to second base, and it'll be a bobble. So Ellis Stoden will reach first, and, and our can, yeah. run will come across too to make it one nothing. And I'll bring up uh, Lena Sketten, catcher for. Uh, Coming. Swing strike two or strike one. One and one now. Run around first. Comes the pitch. Ground over to third and it'll go foul. Still one out. Counts one and two. Sean to deliver. Swing, strike three. And they'll look at the out on the drop third strike. And that will bring up uh, Che uh, Cuthard. That will be in there for a strike. All right for ball one. Evens it up now, one and one now. And Michon, oh, high line drive to center field. Looks like that's going to score a run and be a single there for Goddard. Yeah, nice poke to get in another RBI for, for them. Yeah. That's in there for ball one, so. Foul ball. Strike one. One and one count. There's two outs. Yep. High for ball two. And safe and the die back at first. Yeah. Two and one. Sean to pitch. Grounder to short. She'll flip it over to second and she'll be safe. So both runners are safe as the throw is too late at second and the no throw at first. Yeah, and that will bring up uh, Nina Maloney. And both runners will advance on the uh, wild pitch. So runners will be at third and second. Sean to pitch, foul ball to play. I'll even up the count though, one and one now.
Eye for ball two. Two and one. Here comes the pitch. Grounded a short. This time she'll go over to first, and that will be the third out. And that will retire the side. Yeah. So, some damage done. Two runs scored by Taconic. And we'll go to the bottom of the first inning where uh, Ashley Taylor will lead us off. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Score is two to nothing here at the bottom of the first. And it's going to be Ashley Taylor. She's been first playing left field. Uh, on deck is Haley Adowski playing second base. I'll be in there for a strike. And then three coaches. Yeah, I'll take the bus. Yeah, other than John, John isn't. And Tom, Ashley Taylor has 16 at bats, nine hits, six RBIs, and his, she personally has crossed the plate 14 times. Yeah. And she just got another hit. Yeah. That hit was uh, to left field. And. She'll get a single there. And that will be Haley that's up. And she has a batting average of 385 with 26 at bats, 10 hits. Taylor takes off the second and standing up seal. Runner in scoring position now. I'll be in there for a strike. Tom, she also has six RBIs, or eight RBIs and ten runs. Hmm. Peranto to deliver. Foul ball out of play. So two count now. Oh, one two count. One and two count. And Taylor will take off the third. And she'll be safe. So base hit scores a run now. And like I said, she already has eight RBIs this season. So getting that run in isn't anything new. But that will be strike three. Yeah. And that's going to bring up uh, Lou Fifield, the catcher for Frontier. And she has a batting average of 556 with one home run and 11 RBIs. Yeah, that line drive to center field there, and that was scoring a, a run. So now she'll have 12 RBIs on the season. Now I'll bring up Skyler Steele, third baseman for the Hawks. High fly ball. That could be gone. That's and gone. And that is gone. So she'll unload the bases, bringing two across and taking the lead. It will now be a 3-2 to two ball game. Yeah. And that will also be her first home run on the year. Yeah, that'll make it three to three to two. So Frontier takes the lead with that, and just one out. They'll bring up uh, Sophia Pinardi. And she has a batting average of 556. She has 18 at bats with 10 hits and six RBIs on the year. Yeah, that one's in there for ball one. Ball two. Two no count. Here comes the pitch. 
that, that'll be in there for a strike. Down the middle. Two and one count. Pronto. Grounder gets up the middle. And Penardi will reach first base. A beautiful single up the middle and stayed with it. Got a pitch that she liked and just took it right up the middle. Yep, and that'll bring up uh, Liv Michon, who's pitching today. And she has a batting average of 417 with one home run this year. She also has... 24 at-bats and 10 hits with a total of 12 RBIs. Nice. And that'll be in there for ball one, so 1-0 one -oh count. Still just one out here. Run on first. It's in there for ball two. Toronto to deliver. That's going to be a fly ball. Caught by the second baseman. So there is two down now with a runner on first. Yep. And that'll bring up uh, Gabrielle Adams, who's playing shortstop today. She has a batting average of 294 so far this season. And was that a ball or a strike? I think that was a ball. And she also has 17 at bats with five home runs, and, or five hits, I mean, and five RBIs. I was in there for ball two. Fly ball. May stay in play and it will drop foul. Yeah. Two and one now. Pronto to deliver. Fouls it off. Two and two count. With two out and a runner on first. Yep. Three two full count actually. And that's strike three. Yeah. So it's two strikeouts there. In Frontier they'll get back the lead though. Is it three to two after the first inning? And we will go to the top of the second inning. Leading off is uh, Isabella Hadzel. So we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alvar, Alec Echol, Kevin Murphy, and Benaya. That was in there for, uh, I think it was a ball. Grounder gets up the middle. So Isabel Hadsel will re reach first base. And I'll bring up uh, Brennan McNeese. That's in there for a strike. Oh, and one count. Sean to deliver. Shows bunt. They'll get the bunt. And. The sacrifice will work on that. They get the out at first and the runner advances over to second. Yep. 
And that will be top of the order now. Riley Pronto, who's pitching uh, for Taconic. That will be in there for ball one high. Sean to deliver. High fly ball. And that will be caught by the second baseman. So that will be the second out. And the runner will stay. So it will still be a runner at second. And I'll bring up Julia Pierce. She has a strikeout, but reached first base to us at bat and drop third strike. That would be ball one. So one and no count. Run around second. Sean delivers. Another fly ball. Sean calls it and cut. So that will end the top of the second inning. They'll, they'll get one on to second, but won't be able to cause any more damage than that. Yeah. And we'll go to the bottom of the second. And leading off for Frontier is Addie Wood. So we'll be right back. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, batting is Addie Wood for the Red Ox. Here comes the pitch. That'll be in there for strike one. That'll be ball one, I think a little low. So Addie Wood has a 438 batting average. She also has one home run on the year. Swing strike two. She also has s 16 at bats, seven hits, and five RBIs, including the home run. One and two count. That one's in the dirt. Two and two now. Toronto deliver. High for ball three. Full count now. It's a three two count. Yep. Good hitters count. And swinging strike three. And now batting is the right fielder, Addie L. And she has a batting average of 167. She also has 16 at bats, I believe. Four RBIs. Yeah, that one was in there for ball one. One and no count. Pronto delivers. That's in there for strike one. One and one. And that one will be a little low. Two and one now. Pronto delivers, shows a bun, and it will go stay foul. So that will make it a 2-2 count, seeing that the ball went foul. Yep. It also makes it where it's a 2-2 count with one out, nobody on. And I'll be in there for... Ball number three. So now another good hitter's count. Yeah, three, two, full count. Here comes the pitch from Peranto. Low for ball four, and she'll walk. So that will 
make it where there's one on Tom with one out. Yeah, and it brings up the top of the order too. Yeah, they'll bring Ashley Taylor who had a hit to uh, left field last her last at bat. She also again has a 563 batting average. Yeah, that's really good. So it's in there for ball one. It was outside. Tends to tell me that this should be a good at bat. Yeah. Pronto delivers. That'll be a hit into left field again. And now run around first and second. What one out? So there's a runner in scoring position. And that brings up Haley. Who also has a 338 batting average. So both really good hitters. But she'll pop the first pitch foul for a strike. Her last at bat she struck out looking. So see what she can do here. Pronto to deliver. Hit and run. And everyone will be safe. So. So bases will be loaded. Bases loaded, one out. And that'll bring up uh, Lou Freyfield. So anything. Anything hit. In the outfield, I would see the runners tagging up. And anything on the ground, I would see them also just going. Yeah. Because Lee, er, Lee Fifield has a batting average of 561. She also has one home run. So she, uh, she, she has the ability to get the runners in. Yeah. And uh, her last at bat, she had a hit to center field. And... Uh, Got an RBI. That one's into the center field caught. And the runners will have to go back. So. No, that's that's a hit that she's going to have to just be happy with, even though it was caught, because her fundamentals were right on point where she had a nice, solid contact. Contact. The only thing, she just couldn't find the hole. Yep. And that will bring up Skyler Steele, her... Her last at bat uh, had a two run home run. That will make it her third home run on the year, too, Tom. Yeah. That was in there for ball one. So 1 0 count, base load, two outs. Ground over to short, and she'll go over to first. And that will uh, retire the side. Yeah. So they get the bases loaded, not able to cause any damage with the bases loaded. So it makes it where it's still a frontier one run lead. Yep. And we will go to the top of the third inning. Still three to two frontier with the lead. And up to bat is Ellis Groden. You're watching Frontier uh, Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echo, Kevin Murphy, and Benai. And the batter is Alice Stroden. Stroden. That's a ball inside on the plate. Yep. And that would be a foul off for strike one. Yep. So one uh, one and one count. And Sean to deliver. And that'll be in the dirt. Ball two. Two and one now. Comes the pitch. And just a little outside. Yeah, she did a real good job at holding up on the swing because it looked like she wanted it because she started to go around but was able to hold up in time. Yeah. Two and 
And she'll walk. So we run on first now. And that'll bring up uh, Lena Skatton, uh, who struck out swinging her last at bat. Sean to deliver. I low and inside for ball one. Comes the pitch, the dirt. Good stop by uh, Lou Fifield. Good hitters count. What a runner on first. Yeah, two zero. Sean delivers, grounder, and it'll go foul down the third baseline. Two and one now. Side and that will be three and one now. There goes the train. Comes the pitch and that will be two walks. And that will bring up uh, Che Goddard, who had her had an RBI. Lost a bat. Coach Dean taking a mound visit. It's kind of like we'll have a pinch runner over at first. Um, so, so far, Tom, uh, they've been doing a real good job at just taking the pitches and not swinging at balls yeah. and make making it so Frontier has to actually play defense. Um, and at this point, that's what's making this game close. Yeah. Uh, and pinch running uh, there for uh, Lena Skin is uh, Moody or uh, Anaya Moody. And now uh, batting for Taconic is... Uh, Che Goddard. And she also has a hit and I believe scored. Yeah. She had an RBI. And was also a run across the plate as well. I'll be in there for ball one, so one and out count. Sean to deliver. I'll be in there for a strike. One and one now. We're runners on first and second. It's low for uh, ball two. Two and one. Comes the pitch, fly ball, and that'll drop there in center field. One run will score, and Moody takes off the third. So an RBI single for uh, Che Goddard. And that will tie the ball game at three apiece. So now it's a brand new ball game. And that brings up uh, Maddie Harrington. And they'll get the out. But the run scores. So, so now it will be a one run game. And 
and now we'll be in there for ball one. One gone. Two and oh now. Comes the pitch. A high for ball three. Three and no count. Sean delivers. And I'll be in there for strike one. Three and one now. Sean delivers, pop up to shortstop. She'll make the catch and throws it over to first. So that'll make two outs. Two outs with a runner on first. They also have two RBIs already this inning. Yeah, and that, that'll bring up uh, Isabel uh, Hadzel. Grounder goes to second, goes over to first, and that will end the inning. But uh, Taconic will score two runs and um, make it four to three. And leading off uh, for the Hawks is Sophia Pinardi. So we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Keckle, Kevin Murphy, and Benai. And up to bat is Sophia Pinardi. Grounder over to third base. She'll throw it over to first. And I'll be first out here in the bottom of the third. And I'll bring up uh, Liv Michon, who flew out to the second baseman in her last at bat. Comes the pitch. Swing and strike one. And Peranto delivers. Fly ball. It'll drop in the center or left center field. And that'll be a hit for Michonne. Yeah, a nice dr uh, drop that she got on that hit to give her a sing single for the game. Yeah. And that will bring up uh, Gabrielle Adams. And they throw it back to first. And she's back in time. Yep. So one out here, run on first. Comes the pitch, shows bunt, and it'll be a foul ball. And that makes it a two strike count. Yeah. So O2 count. Pronto delivers. And that'll be the ball one inside. So yeah, good eye by her to take that pitch. Yeah. I'll make it a one two count. With a runner on first. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, foul tip. Just got out of the catcher's glove. Yeah, uh, just pulled her head just a little on the swing. Still one two. 
And here comes the pitch. High for a ball, too. Two two count. Pronto delivers. High line drive into right field. And that gets by the outfielders. Yep. Mashawn will take off to home. That gets one in. And Adams gets a triple. RBI triple for Gabrielle Adams. So that brings them within, or brings them back to a tie ball game. So now it's another brand new ball game. Yep, and that'll make it uh, four to four. And Addy Wood will be the batter. Swing strike one. So a one count. We're a runner on third. Comes the pitch. Ground ball over to shortstop. And that'll uh, that'll score the run though. So an RBI for Wood. And Frontier will take the lead five to four. And that'll bring up Batty L. Her last at bat she walked. Comes the pitch, swing, strike one. Comes the pitch, high for ball one. One and one now. Pronto delivers. Swing strike two. One and two now. Comes the pitch. Maybe a little uh, inside. So two and two count now. I'll be low for ball three. So she works herself back into a good hitter's count. Yeah. Full count, three, two. Here comes the pitch. And that'll be strike three looking. So that will, uh, that'll end the, uh, the third inning here. But damage done, Frontier, they take the lead back five to four. And leading off for Taconic is uh, Brennan McNeese. If you're watching Frontier Community Access Television, we'll be right back to the top of the fourth. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Keckle, Kevin Murphy, and Benaya. Scores five to four here in the top of the fourth inning. And leading off is uh, Brennan McNeese. Her last step bat. Uh, grounded out to the uh, third baseman. And that one, she grounds out to uh, second baseman. So that'll be out number one. And that'll bring up top of the order Riley Pronto for Taconic. Last bat, bat, she flew out to the second baseman. And then that one gets through. So, grounder up the middle. Puts a runner on first. Yeah, nice, just, uh, nice level swing to get that line drive right through the middle to get a base hit. And that brings up Julia Pierce. High for ball one.
Counts 1 and 0. Shows bun. And it will go foul. Good idea. Frontier just lets it roll foul so the sacrifice bunt won't work. They also yeah. have one more opportunity to bunt as well. Yeah. One and one count now. Run on first and one out. Ground ball over to second base. Flips it over to second and dropped it. So everyone will be safe. Yeah, uh, good effort by the runners to hustle. Yeah, it was, it was going to be a close play over there at second. Um, but now first and second. One out. And that will bring up uh, Al Stoden. Her uh, last bat, she walked and scored a run. That'll be uh, high and outside. Ball one. One on one count now. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball into right field. And nice catch. Runner tags from second, moves up to third. So runners will be on the corners. Yeah. With two outs. And that brings up uh, Lena Sketon, who walked her last at bat. Here comes the pitch from Sean, and that hits the batter, so that'll load the bases. Now a force will be anywhere, so this actually helps Frontier a little bit. Yeah. Looks like uh, they're going to do a pinch runner. Yep. It's going to be uh, uh, and I am Moody. Pinch running again for uh, Skatton. And up to bat is uh, Shai Goddard. High for ball one. One no count now. Sean delivers. I'll be high for ball two. Two no count. And I'll be in there for a strike. Two and one now. Frontier wants to get out of this ending with no damage. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball. And dropped by the center fielder. So two runs will scored. And Taconic will uh, they'll take the lead back. And that will bring up uh, Maddie Harrington. I'll be in the dirt. Runner takes off. Here comes the pitch. Grounder. Nice stop by the second baseman. She throws it over for the out. What a play to get the final out. Yeah, great job there by Haley Adowski. Throw it from the knees. Yeah. Accurately enough, too. And we'll go to the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. Teutonic takes the lead. Uh, 
six to five. And batting is Ashley Taylor, top of the order for the Hawks. And we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckle, Kevin Murphy, and Benaya. And top of the order, Ashley Taylor now. Her last at bat, she had a hit to left field. Here we go. That'll be low for ball one. Pronto delivers. Grounder down the third baseline goes foul just foul too it just was a couple more inches and it would have probably been bouncing over the bag fair mm -hmm. so one on one count Here comes the pitch swing and strike two pronto delivers and strikeout looking. Good pitch on the corner to get get her uh, looking. Yeah, and that will bring up uh, Hilidowski, who had a hit to shortstop. Who has a bat. Ground ball back to the pitcher. She'll throw it over to first. And I'll be out number two. And I'll bring up Blue Fifield with uh, two outs here. See if she can get something going with two outs. Grounder goes up the middle, and Fifield will get on first. And I'll bring up Skyler Steele. Who has a home run already today, so. Yeah, two run home run and in the first and her last at bat. She granted out the shortstop. It looks like Frontier will have a pinch runner. It'll be uh Jazzy Hayes. Pinch running for Fifield. And here comes the pitch. High ball one. So a one and oh count. And that'll be a foul out of play. Evens it up now, one and one. Pronto delivers, and that'll be a little inside. So two and one count. Pronto pitches, fly ball out of play. Evens up the count now, two and two. Comes the pitch. Line drive into right field. That'll get off the wall. Hayes takes off the third. And she'll take off the home. And she'll get called out. It's a nice hit though by Skyer Steele. Good effort though by the runner to attempt to get in. Yeah. 
the uh, the outfielder just had a little bit more of an arm and accurate, nice accurate throw the gunner da down. Yeah. So that w will make it still six to five to Tonic with the uh, uh, with the lead, and we will go to the uh, top of the fifth inning. With leading off is uh, Nina Maloney. Watching, we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alvarado, Kickle, Kevin Murphy, and uh, Benaya. And up to bat for Taconic is uh, Nina Maloney. We were waiting on the umpires, so they were discussing something, probably figuring out uh, some changes for the other team. Yeah. All right, here we go. Sean delivers. High and outside. Ball one. So he stopped the play to make the batter tuck in her sh shirt. Yep. So one no count. And I'll be high. For ball two. Two no count, and I'll be high for ball three, so three and oh. I assume that they're gonna have the red light, so anything close won't be swung at. Yeah. This one's gotta be down the middle. And good frame by the catcher. I'll be in there for strike one. Yeah, framing really helps too. Because the quickest that you move the glove can change the call. Yeah. That one's a liner. Short stop and. Yeah, at nice RBI or single, um, bobble that short stop and was able to run it out. Yeah. It actually looked like it hit the short stop in the feet. Yeah. You're in the you're in the legs and they'll have a pinch runner. But that will uh that will bring up Isabel Hansel for the last step back. She uh grounded out to the second baseman. And Lanai Hansel is the pinch runner. Comes a pitch, wild pitch, and uh, the runner will, will advance. So now there won't be a force or uh, opportunity for a double play, I should say. Yep. Um. I'll be low for ball two, two and oh. Comes the pitch. Ground ball back to the pitcher. She'll go over to first for the out. But it will advance the runner to the third. So it'll be two outs. Two outs or one? Uh, just one out. One out with a runner on third. And that will bring up uh, Brenna McNeese. Her last at bat, she uh, crowned it out to second baseman. So anything on the ground should score the runner. Anything in the air deep enough should also score the runner. Yeah. They, they could also go home for the for the play, but who knows? 1-0 count. I'll be inside for ball two. 2-0 now.
And that one's a little outside, I guess. 3 0. So again, anything close will probably not be swung at. Yep, and that one's right down the middle, so three and one now. And I'll be in the dirt for ball four, so Brandon McNeese uh, got a walk there. That also sets up the double play for Frontier, making it so they have a force at second yep. and first now. And it looks like they're going to bring in Ashley Taylor to go and pitch. So uh, they're going to take a quick break. So we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, and Benaya. So again, it will be runners on the corner, one out. Force at second and first. Frontier does have the opportunity for a double play. Yeah. And uh, Ashley Taylor will come into pitch for Michon. That will be uh, ball one outside. Fly ball gets passed, and that will score a run. She kind of blooper into center field. Yeah, it didn't sound like she had good contact on it, but she had enough contact on it. Yep, and that was Riley Pronto. We'll make it so it's a 7-5 to five game. Now batting is uh, Julie, Julia Pierce. That's in there for a strike. Comes the pitch, in the dirt. And the runners steal. Very close play though at third. Yeah. A little too close for my comfort. <laughs> yeah. One and one now. Fly ball. And the third baseman catches that one. So that'll make it two outs. But runners on second and third. Second and third, yes. And that brings up Ella Stoden. That one, ball one in the dirt. Her last at bat, she uh, flew out to the left fielder. in there for strike one. One and one now. Liner goes up the middle. That'll score one run. And that'll be a two RBI single for Al Stoden. That'll make it a nine to five. Fly ball into left field and foul into the parents. Yeah. So on one count. The batter's lean is getting. Ball one and low. One and one now. Swinging strike two. K 
Here's the pitch. Fly ball in the left field. That one will drop. And the runner will score. And the runner holds up that second. Yeah. Making it an RBI double. And that'll make it a 10 to 5. Pinch runner. Um, is uh, Naya Moody again for Alina Sketon, and that brings up uh, Chai Goddard. Oh, that's in there for strike one. Fly ball out of play. Foul ball out of play. Oh, two count. I want tie for ball one. Fly ball into left field again. That one. Off the wall. That'll score a run. So back-to-back -back RBI doubles. Yeah. That Making it 11 to 5. Yep. That brings up uh, Maddie Harrington. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball into the left field, and this one's caught. So, a lot of damage done. As that'll make it 11 to 5. Uh, Taconic leads. You go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and batter will be Sophia Pinardi. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Keckle, Kevin Murphy, and Benign. Batting for the Red Ox is uh, Sophia Pinardi. And her last at bat, she grounded out to third baseman. And that will be a swing and strike one. A nice, hot, healthy cut on that swing. She looked like she was swinging for the fences. Yep. That'll be a ground ball and hit her, so. Yeah, he, it's going to be a foul off off the leg. That makes it an 0-2 count with no outs. Yeah. Pronto delivers. That'll be in the dirt for ball one. One and two count. I'll be high for ball two. Good eye. Two and two. Comes the pitch. And the lo low for ball three, so full count now. Yeah, she worked herself back into a good hitter's count. Anything close will be swinging at. Anything outside will not be. Pronto delivers high fly ball into left field, but it will be foul. Just a little early on it. Yeah, if that was as fair, would have been would have been gone. If she held up just a little bit, would have been a little bit closer to being a fair ball. Yeah. And swing and strike three, so. That will bring up Liv Michon. Here comes the pitch. In there for strike one.
Toronto delivers. Ground ball, and it will go foul. So that makes it strike two with one out, nobody on. Bottom yeah. of the fifth. Oh, two count. Pronto delivers inside for ball one. Comes the pitch. High for ball two. Evens it up now, two and two. Good job at working herself back into an even count. Pronto delivers. High fly ball. Center field. And that one's gone. Home run by Olivia Rashawn. That will be her second home run of the year. And that now makes it a 6 to 11 ball game. Yep. And that'll bring up Gabrielle Adams, who had an RBI triple over her last at bat. To, uh,. Right field. High fly ball, right field. And that one stays in play. Adams takes off to second. And she gets the double. Nice hustle to make it into a double where it was a close play at second. Yeah. That one hit the top of the wall. I thought it was gone, but... No, it definitely almost had it. It was just trapped in here. Yeah. So that'll bring up uh, Addie Wood. But an RBI, um, her last at bat. I'll be uh, inside for ball one. Comes the pitch. Ground ball over to third base. Adams advances, so she moves the runner. So there'll be two outs with a runner on third. And that brings up Addie L. That's in there for strike one. Own oh, one count. Prento delivers. Fly ball, caught by the second baseman in that one inning. Frontier gets one on the board though, so 11 to six. We will go to uh, the top of the sixth inning. Score 11 to six, and the batter leading off will be uh, Nina Maloney. So you're watching uh, Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alvarado, Kekko, Kevin Murphy, and Benai. That was ball one. High fly ball. That will be into left field. Hits Off the, the wall. Fence. So that will be a long single. <laughs> yeah, for uh, Nina Maloney. And that will bring up uh, Isabel Hadzel. Fly ball to the shortstop. Throws it back over to first. And double play. So it looks like they're going to be arguing the call. Yeah.
Ooh. All right, so the double play stands. Yeah, so what they just said is that from the angle, it's the outfield infield umps call. So it's not the home plate ump call. Yeah. So it's a 1-1 one, one count. Yeah. With nobody on. And that brings two outs. That brings up uh, Brenna McNeese and she walked her last at bat. That'll be inside for ball two. So it's a 2-1 count. Comes the pitch. That one's in the dirt. So 3-1 now. And you know Frontiers want to get out of this when they had that nice 1-2 uh, double play. Yeah. Swinging... Strike two, and now full count. Three, two, full count. So it's a full count. And that will be high for ball four, so she'll have back-to-back -back walks. And that will bring up uh, Riley Peranto. Her last the bat, she had to hit the center field and scored a run. The dirt, good stop. The fight field. One and zero count. Taylor delivers. And that's a line drive into the uh, left field. And so two out rally here for Tatonic. Yeah, there'll be a runner on second and first. Uh, two outs. I'll bring up Julia Pierce. She fouled it off, so it will be a 0-1 count. Ground ball gets past the third baseman. It's fair. Yep. And that'll score a run. So an RBI there, RBI double uh, for Julia Pierce. And I'll bring up uh, Ellis Stoden. So that makes it uh, 12 to 6. Dirt for ball one. It's in the dirt for ball two. Two oh count. Side for ball three. So another good hitter's count for them. She gets on, it will make it bases loaded. Yeah. Grounder, she had the green light. Throws it over to first. This is grounder to second. And that will end the top of the sixth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Uh, the score is 12 to six. And leading off for Frontier is uh, Ashley Taylor, top of the order. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Five, four, three, 
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Elko, Kevin Murphy, and Benaya. Score is 12 to 6. And Ashley Taylor's the batter for the Red Ox. And she has two hits today. That'll be ball for ball one inside. So delivers. I'll be high for ball two. So Tom, with the two hits that she has today, she makes it a 11 hit for her this season. Yep. So yep. there will be a stoppage. Yep, the umpire is saying something to to Connick's bench. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not. Don't know what that was about. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but. Anyways, here we go. And high, or er, swing strike one. Two and one. Here comes the pitch. High for ball three, three and one now. So Frontier's in a good hitter's count. Yeah. And, uh, in there for a strike. Three, two, full count. Foul ball out of play. Off the football <laughs> press box. Oh, yeah. So that definitely had the distance if she kept it straight. Mm -hmm. Just got a little bit out in front on it. Yep. Good battle here. And strike three. Swinging. And now bring a Paleodowski. Uh, last at bat, she grounded out to the pitcher. Grounder uh, to the shortstop. Throws it over to first, and they'll be out number two. One more, girls! One more! So Frontier looking to have fun with two outs and hit, get some hits. Yeah. Delaney Fightfield will be up to bat now, her last at bat. Um, she got a hit to center field. And there we go again, hit to right center field. And she'll get a single there. So another hit there for Fife Field. And now I'll bring up Skyler Steele. Who's looking to add another home run to her already one home run today. Yeah. And here we go. Uh, grounder over to shortstop. Throws it over to second. And that will end the inning. Or end the, yeah, that will end the inning. Score is 12 to 6. Uh, and leading off for Taconic is uh, Lena Skenton. We'll go to the top of the seventh inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Score is 12 to 6. Taconic leads by 6. And we're in the top of the seventh inning. Frontier looking to get out of this one, one, two, three, and get their last ups and hope to 
be able to come back in this one. Yep. And uh, batter's Lena Sked. Her last at bat, she had hit the left field. Ground over to third. She'll throw it over to first. And that'll be out number one. That'll bring up uh, Chai Goddard. It'll be getting high for ball one. That's low for ball two. Fly ball pop up and not in time. So almost got though. Just couldn't uh, read it. And those ones are hard, Tom. The ones that are popped up and you got to run forward for are harder than the ones you got to go backwards for. Yeah. So two and one count now. And Taylor to deliver. High for ball three. So another good hitter's count. And they've been doing this all day. Fly ball, second base. Nice catch there by Hadowski. So there's two outs now with no one on in the top of the seventh. Frontier needs one more out to try to be able to come back in this one. Yeah. Pop up, out of play. So, all one count for uh, Maddie Harrington. Her last at bat, she uh, flew out to the left fielder. That's line drive. Drops in left field. Yep. She'll take out the second and be safe. So, a double there for Maddie Harrington. Yeah, she took advantage of Frontier sleeping on that one. Um, no one communicated to let them know that there she was going to second because they would have easily been able to got her if they were throwing it straight to second. Yeah. And that will bring up uh, Nina Maloney. That'll be in there for strike one. Her last at bat, she had to hit the left field. I'll be in there for strike two. Good pitch. Fly ball. Left field. Ooh, that'll be a catch there. Tom, at one point, that did look like it was going to be trouble. Yeah. And that will end the top of the seventh inning. So we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. With Frontier's last, uh, last ups. Well, it's their last ups if they don't tie. Yeah. And now I'll bring up uh, Sophia Pinardi. So uh, you're watching Frontier Community on Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alberalk, Kevin Murphy, and Benign. The score is 12 to 6 here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And the batter's Sophia Pinardi. It's going to be a foul ball. Could hit down the line if it stayed fair. Yeah, it was a good idea. Just got out a little bit too much in front and just pulled it a little too foul. Yep. Be interesting to see if she tries it again. Yep. So, one count. And inside for ball one. One and one count. High fly ball, center field. And nice catch. She was right at the wall. Yeah, she ran into the fence. And uh, way to stay with it to hold on to it too. Because it's hard running backwards and realizing how much room you have to play it. Yep. And that'll bring up Liv Michon. 
her last at bat she had a home run so she's looking to do that again that would be a swing strike one Count. Swing strike two. That hit the catcher in the mask. Yeah. So it, a wake up call. <laughs> yeah. It was what I like to call it from personal experience because uh, I was catching before. And it's not fun. No. <laughs> so two. Nice foul off. Good job protecting, so still a two count. With one away. Here comes the pitch, that one'll be in the dirt. So that's the first ball for this at bat. So it's a one two count. With two one away. No one on. High for ball two. Two and two. Pop up goes fair and into left field. So nice single there by Liv Michon. And that will bring up uh, Gabriel Adams. Her last at bat, she had a double into right field. Here comes the pitch. Swing strike one. Here comes the pitch. And I'll be in there for strike two. Oh, two count. Fly ball into right field. Caught. Sean will take off the second. So, two outs now here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And a runner on second now as the sacrifice gets them into scoring position. So Frontier's last out. And Addie Wood is the batter. And that's in there for a strike. She has an RBI on the night. So oh, one count. Grounder to second base. Bobs it a little bit, throws it over. And that will do it. So yeah. Frontier loses this one. 12 to 6. And uh, so it was a great game all around. Definitely close in the first couple of innings. And then the fifth inning uh, is what where Taconic uh, just blew away with it. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.